myself. Know this. Killing is my business, ladies. And business is good. Hello, everyone. It's Khalif bringing you another PvP thief build. This time around, it's a little bit different from my bleed build. It is a hard hitting spike build, kind of rotating around Heartseeker. And I know there's been many different variations of the Heartseeker build that's been exploited uh, since the release of the game. But um, in my opinion, this one offers a little bit more versatility, a little bit more um, power in terms of the other ones that I've seen at least. Uh, so let's get started. Let's start off with your gear. For your gear, we have 5 out of 6 Rune of the Ranger. The reason I have Rune of the Ranger is because it offers the best... Um, stats for a spike a crit based spiking build which is it gives you precision as well as crit damage and i really haven't been able to s find anything any other rune that's more important than this so if there is one you know com make a comment but for this particular build i use five out of six rune of the ranger the reason i don't go six out of six is the five percent damage while you have a companion is uh useless for a thief i'm not even sure if our summon thieves are considered companions so because of that my last rune I picked up uh, rune of the thief uh, for the thief you can get I you can pretty much replace rune of the thief with anything that gives you plus 20 uh, precision for the two weapons that we have we have double daggers uh, both the daggers have been have sigils of air the reason I put air is that on a lightning strike it does about a thousand damage so that's an extra thousand damage that you're adding on top of whatever crit damage you're doing and with 58 percent crit chance base that we have you crit a lot and because of that those lightning strikes proc pretty frequently and that's an extra thousand damage that's added on to your target uh i'm not too sure i haven't been able to do 100 percent research to completely verify if both the sigils proc independently or if they get nullified um, from what I've been able to find that they do proc independently so having two sigils of air is actually beneficial but again I haven't been completely been able to do like 100% research to say yes this is the case but overall in my little experience that I have with this build I've seen it proc a little bit more when I have two sigils of air rather than one for the next weapon we have a short bow which has 6% critical chance to remove a boon this sigil you can pretty much uh, replace with anything you want uh, the reason I put this particular is that I haven't I didn't really like any of the other sigils on my bow it didn't really play into my build that well so because of that I just put uh, this one at least I can remove some boons on a crit and since my auto attack for the short bow is triple target it's bound to crit at least once or twice on to our traits for our traits we have 25 deadly arts 25 or oh, 30 critical strikes and 15 trickery uh, for the 25 deadly arts we pick up um, venomous strength and mug so one of you definitely need mug in this build it's it's one of the you know prime skills that you want it basically what mug does is Anytime you steal from a target, it does damage on steal. And on a crit, it can crit for about 3k. So it's a really nice opener, s considering that you're going to use steal as an opener anyway to kind of deal that damage. For your secondary skill slot, uh, Venomous Strength, you can actually replace this with anything you want. Let me actually switch this out. You can replace this with anything you want. Um, I personally took Venomous Strength so that you know right before I spike I pop my venoms so I want to have that extra might uh, on there to give me a little bit of a damage output you can replace it with per one of the other skills you can do is I guess quick venoms or um, dagger damaging I, I don't really like dagger training but so in my opinion I think you should limit this to either quick venoms or venomous strength depending on your personal taste again that's a completely free slot you can use it for whatever you want for critical strikes we have side strikes 7% chance to crit this is a free slot oh, for some reason my things got switched up but anyway this is a free slot you can use whatever you want but you want furious retaliation furious retaliation is your first gonna be your first uh, trait it basically, whenever you're in, whenever your target drops to 
health, you get 10 seconds of fury. Fury basically increases your crit chance and crit damage by 20%. So it's uh, this is really useful to try and kind of get that spike damage out as fast as possible, especially because you're going to be using Heartseeker a lot. For again, like I said, for your uh, second I could outrun trait, a centaur. this is a free slot. You can use whatever you want. I personally like side strikes because I try to kind of outmaneuver my opponents, and I'm gonna I'm usually hitting them from the back, but always not the case. But you can replace this with anything useful. I personally like um, critical haste; gives you 10% chance to get quickness for two seconds. Um, but if you don't like that, you can pretty much replace this with any of the skills you want, as long as you know it kind of fits into this build. Uh, for my last one. I have is Executioner, which deals 20% da extra damage when your target is below 50% health. So I, I don't know if you noticed the uh, primary premise of this build is getting that target to 50% health because you have a multitude of skills and traits that trigger uh, beneficial effects when you're in 50% range and below. For example, Heartseeker does a lot more damage when target is below 50%. You ha you're getting you're dealing more damage in general because your target's 50% from this trait. So you want to you definitely want an executioner to be picked up, and it, it it adds a lot of damage onto your build already. Lastly, you got 15 points into trickery. Uh, one of the main reasons is you want to get that initiative increased by three, three, which pretty much equates to getting one more heart seeker out, and that from my experience that is the difference between killing a target and the target killing you and for the trait you want to get thrill the crime which is when you steal you gain fury and might and swiftness for 10 seconds so again you can kind of picture where this is coming from you steal you do damage because of steal you gain fury and swiftness and 10 seconds is more than enough to drop your target to 50 percent health and when you drop your target to 50% health, you get another stack of fury and you just go on crit and it's pretty much crit after crit after crit and it, when you see it, it is really really awesome to uh, experience. So on to our skills. Our skills are pretty decent. It's again dagger dagger and uh, bow, short bow. For our traits, we pick withdraw. Again, withdraw is one of the best skills that a thief has, especially because it removes any true negative effects which is you're crippled, chilled and immobilized you, wa you want to make sure since this is a melee build you want to make sure you're on your target and withdraw definitely helps with that for your traits you have uh, devour venom and ice drake venom so again back to you know the premise of this build is you want to make sure your target can't move away from you and the two uh, two venoms that you pick up is kind of a, a CC venom, right? Devour venom immobilize your target for five seconds and ice drake pretty much makes your target cr make come to a halt. And your last one is haste. Haste is really useful if you want to spike down a target and it brings them down to their knees, especially because you, with haste you can spam Heartseeker over and over again within easily within those four seconds. Your elite that you're picking up is Basilisk Venom. Basilisk Venom isn't the best one, but I, I like to carry it on because I put Basilisk Venom on prior to um, I engage the target so that when I do steal, the target gets a one second stone duration on them. So because of that, I'm pretty much guaranteed my target's never gonna leave uh, my area of attack. All right, so let me show you quickly the crit chances and the crit damage that you you do so you know you crit really a lot so a 2k crit 2.2k crit on an auto attack and it is deadly when you actually do go up against the player and you do it um, one of the things that is different from this Th the from this one and other heart seekers is other heart seeker builds you're kind of told to just spam heart seeker from the get-go in this build not really the case you want to kind of auto attack first to bring the target down and then once you're at that range then spam heart seeker when your target is under 33 percent your heart seekers does about 5k damage especially if you have your stacks of might and it is deadly when you uh when you get hit by it. Um, so again, don't be hesitant to auto attack. It does really a lot of damage. You know, 1500 to 2k 
on auto attacks, and this is without you know popping my venoms. If I pop my venoms and to get the stacks of um, power, it it does auto attacks and everything. I can just kill a target just by auto attacking. Um, so I'll, at the end of the video, I'll post up a link to a playthrough guide. It it's you can actually see the thing in playthrough, and it it is really fun. Comparing this to the bleed build, which I'm, you know, which I'm very popular for, is um, this build it hits harder. Uh, you're you're guaranteed to drop your targets faster. However, the uh, the thing that it's lacking is it lacks mobility, because you're not really getting uh, your endurance back. You can't really dodge as much. You can't really control the battlefield as much as you can with the bleed build. Overall, I mean, they they, they play differently. Uh, I definitely like both. For f I think for n for the next couple PvP playthroughs, you're gonna see me running this build. Uh, it's it's a fun build, it's and it, it gets its job done. Anyway, so this has been a presentation by Khalif PvP about the Heartseeker Thief PvP build. If you guys like it, like the video, share it, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and let me know what you guys think about the build in the comments. If you have any suggestions, concerns, etc., and uh, enjoy.